Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Shasta Revere 29 SK. This is a great bunk model, nice and spacious inside, especially with the seven foot ceilings. But we'll get to all that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and start on some of the features outside. One of the first things you'll notice is the propane tank cover right up front here. It is white, which is great. Gives it a nice clean look out here. Also underneath there you have two 30 pound tanks rather than the standard 20 that come on most travel trailers. That way you're able to stay, uh, have some extended camping, do some boondocking and make sure you have a lot of heat in the colder season. Right behind that are your rails for your battery box. And then coming up the front here is the diamond plating. You'll see how this comes up nice and high, which is great because that'll help protect the front end even more from the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't scratch and dent the beautiful front end here. As you'll notice, this front end is a smooth aluminum sheet. That way it, uh, it has a really nice aesthetic to it. Again, just a great looking coach from the front. So you come around to the side here and open up the storage compartment. You see this is a pass-through. You have three access points into the storage, one on either side of the RV, and then the bed also lifts up so you can access the storage from the inside. Nice large power awning on here, just touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you'll see it has an LED light strip that is sewn into the awning fabric. So that way if uh, you wanna have some light out here at night, you don't have to worry about hanging up Christmas lights, just flip a switch and you'll be good to go. The other thing I like about this coach, if you notice, you don't have any vents. You don't have your furnace vent, you don't have your refrigerator vent or anything right here in your camp space. So this is all usable camp space here under your power awning. There are two entrances into this RV. Uh, the main one right here goes into your main living area. The back one goes into the bathroom. Seeing how this is the main entrance, you will notice how they have the foldable easy grab handle here to make sure you have a nice grip going in so that way you don't slip and fall and hurt yourself. You'll also notice underneath the power awning, if you take a look back up top there, we have two outside speakers. Now those are connected to the multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smart device, like a smartphone, tablet, uh, iPad, something like that, you can sit right outside here and still be able to control your music on that device from outside, uh, be able to connect to it again via Bluetooth. Right here, I really love that they did this too. Not only do you have a great camp space here, but you have this big, beautiful window. This is what you want to see. This is the site you want to look at, your campsite, not out at your neighbor. So I like they have that really big window there. And plus it lets in a lot of natural light during the day. If you take a look down low, you'll see these are widespread axle here, which is great. Gives a little more stability, a little less sway going down the road. And then you also have nitrogen filled tires. Right back here is your back, uh, black tank flush. Again, as I said, the, this is a rear bath model right here. Uh, the black tank flush is great. Rather than having to drag a hose into your camper and put it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, you can just take that hose, hook it up right here, and it will wash out your black tank for you. Just simplifying the process, making break down, breaking down your camper a little easier. Also, you have an electrical outlet out here. So again, if you want to put a table or something here, plug in some crock pots, they'll still be underneath the awning. Uh, it's all usable space, and I love being able to have that external uh, electric hookup. Of course, right there, your second set of steps, as I mentioned, that will go in the bathroom, which is really nice, especially when you have kids, as this is a bunk model, because that way they're not traipsing dirt throughout the entire camper. Right in the back here, you'll notice a couple things. Uh, one, you have an outside shower right here with both hot and cold access, which is great. Uh, I like the fact it's on the back. Most of the time they put it on the off door side. Just makes it a little bit easier to get to right here. Plus you have all this space, so if you need to you know, wash your feet, wash the dog, maybe you just need outside water access, that is the place to do it. If you wanna do some grilling, some cooking outside, it's not a problem either. Right underneath here, you'll see you have the propane quick connect. That way you can quickly plug your grill into that, be able to use the 60 pounds of propane up front rather than having to buy the little green bottles. Last thing you'll notice on the back here, right up top, this unit is prepped for a backup camera. So if you do want one installed, it is a lot easier to have that done. Come around to the off door side, a couple quick things I wanna talk about over here. One, you'll see your detachable power outlet right there, your power cord, 30 amp. And then right here, take a look at this, more outside storage. This is underneath the rear bunk. Again, you can lift up that bottom bunk, be able to access it from inside as well. 
cable and satellite here as well as your water hookup. And then up front, there's also solar prep. So if you do want some solar on here, be able to trickle charge the battery, it's already set up for you. All you have to do is buy the portable ZAMP panels. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Shasta Revere 29SK. This particular model is in the chocolate chip interior. One of the first things you'll notice when you walk inside the Revere is how big and beautiful they are. You have all this extra headspace, seven foot ceilings here with the gorgeous tray ceiling right in the center. You'll also see they have plenty of light thanks to the nice big skylight and you have LED lights all the way around, which are not only nice and bright, but also don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. Now right over here, one of my favorite things the manufacturers do is when they're able to put the dinette on the camping side. And that's exactly what they did here. Uh, you will see the bottoms are a leather, which is nice. So if you have younger kids and they're you know maybe a little sloppy, they spill a couple things, it is nice and easy cleanup right here in the dinette. Also, if you have additional guests and your bunks are full, the table does drop down into an additional bed. You just remove the legs here. The table will sit along these rails on both sides. Take your back cushions, put them in. Of course, that will fill it in, making this that extra sleeping space. As I mentioned, we were outside though. Not only do you have the big campsite dinette, but you have this gorgeous window. So that way, as you're sitting here, eating your morning breakfast, drinking your coffee, you're able to look out to your campsite rather than stare out at your neighbors. Uh, other thing I wanna talk about, if you take a look right down below, you have the drop down compartment. So it is nice and easy to get to any storage. And of course you have that on both sides. Uh, that way you don't have to lift up the cushion. And again, you just get in there nice and easy. Just one last step for you. If you take a look up top, you'll see they did put additional storage up top. And again, you're able to do that because you have the tall ceilings in here. So you have the fluted glass on there, which gives it a nice appeal to it. Uh, and then again, three separate doors going across, LED light there too, of course, to help brighten up the space. Now, one of the other things I like about this floor plan is you have your entertainment center straight across from theater seating. We'll take a look at the theater seating in a moment, uh, but I, I really do like that they did this, especially on a rainy day, you're able to watch the TV. Take a look at how big this space is too. You're able to fit a good size TV there. A lot of times you're going to be restricted, um, you know, when you install the TV because it's a much smaller space, not the problem here. You will also see audio video cables. Those are connected, of course, to your multimedia center because this unit is not only a radio and CD player, it's also a DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there and be able to watch it on the TV. Underneath, you'll see you have really good storage there too, which again is something you don't find very often in your entertainment centers. Usually it's a lot smaller, uh, not the case here. Then up top, you have this nice shelf right here. If you want to put any auxiliary components up there, you can do that. And then you will also see again the fluted glass with nice big storage compartment. Moving over to the side, take a look at this. Big storage here as well. Uh, personally, I'd probably use this for kids' clothes, but if you want, you can use a couple of these for pantry space as well. I know it's not exactly in the kitchen, uh, but it is a good storage space for no matter what you want to put in there. Right back here in the corner is the bathroom. And as we take a look, you will see your foot flush lever toilet right down here. Uh, up to the side is your tub shower, which again is nice to have that tub if you have smaller kids. Kind of has like the tile look on the back. Uh, shelf there and a nice big skylight up top which not only lets in a lot of natural light but also gives you additional headspace. The door here to uh, come in directly from the outside again just making things nice and easy. Right over here is your sink top and vanity additional storage underneath and then up top above that is the mirrored medicine cabinet. Now as we come back out of the bathroom, the other thing in the corner will be your bunks right back here. The thing I like about this floor plan is take a look at the size of those bunks. You have what they call in the industry a double over double. So two very wide bunks, which are great. If you have smaller kids, you can actually fit two to a bunk here. And as they start to grow, get a little bit older, maybe you're camping with teenagers, the beds are still big enough, they will be comfortable. It's also the Teddy Bear Bunk Series, so it is nice and soft. It has good padding there as well, so they will get a good night's sleep. Then you'll notice you have a window on both the top and bottom, as well as an LED light. And you will also see a privacy screen, uh, curtain rather, right here. So that way you can close that off in case the kids want uh, some added privacy at night. 
Then right across the way is our nice big slide. As I promised, right there is your theater seating directly across from the TV. Extremely comfortable. Again, it's uh, kind of that, that leather there. So uh, it's easy, easy to clean, which is definitely a big bonus. Couple cup holders here in the center, as well as an extra compartment right there for remotes. Again, that way you kick back, you know, recline, be able to take a load off, really enjoy uh, camping, even if you have to stay inside. You'll see an electrical outlet right down below in case you need to plug in a laptop, uh, tablet, phone, something like that. Again, windows here to let in some natural light and additional storage up top. The other thing I want to mention is take a look at the slide height. I'm six foot here. You see I can completely stand underneath the slide without hitting my head. And again, that is due uh, mainly to the fact you have the big tall ceilings in here so they're able to bring that slide height up. Then right over here is the beginning of the kitchen. You'll see here. Uh, nice big fridge. Take a look at that. Plenty of space in here. You have your fridge freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric. Uh, so that way, um, you know, you have the dual source. It also has automatic switchover. So if you are running it off propane, plug it into shore power to automatically switch over for you. Right over here, you, you can use this for prep space if you want, but it's not very big. Personally, I'd probably rather put a toaster or a coffee maker here. You'll see they kind of have the same idea as they put an electrical outlet right there for you. Three burner cooktop. The front one is high output. Uh, and then underneath, you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. Over to the side, you'll see you have a bank of three full extension ball bearing drawers. So that way, you have enough room for your silverware, your spatulas, serving spoons, everything else you need there. Then underneath you have a deep drawer, so that way you have space for some of your pots and pans. Of course you have a hood right above your cooktop, microwave up here, and then a little bit of additional storage off to the side, great place to put some spices right there. The rest of our kitchen is over here, and of course this will be your main prep area. You can see you have nice long countertops. Even though they don't stick out a ton, you know, at least you can still prep some food here. They also give you the sink top cover, so you can utilize that as prep space as well. Speaking of the countertops though, you'll see these are seamless countertops. So upgraded from your standard uh, T-mold, this definitely will last a lot longer and it looks a lot nicer too. And it allows for things like an undermount sink so you can have your uh, flush cover there. Two electrical outlets, so if you do need to plug anything in over here, you're certainly able to do that. High rise pull out faucet makes it nice and easy to do dishes. And when we take off that sink top cover, that will reveal your large uh, double bowl, as I mentioned, undermount sink. Now right underneath, another thing I like that manufacturers do, take a look at the shelf. They put the shelf back away so you still have a place to put your cleaning supplies, your chemicals, but you'll notice they left the front open. That way you have enough space there to put a trash can. Another big drawer right over here, you'll see that is nice and wide there. And then additional storage right there underneath. You'll also notice we have this little guy with the weight on there. Uh, you're looking a little bit over 6,200 pounds. If you take a look up top, again, more storage here. Shelf in the back, kind of the same principle. This one is probably your uh, best space for pantry. It is really deep because it goes back into the corner. And then you have some additional space right there. Again, you have a vent up top letting in that additional light. If you take a look at the bedroom, you'll see you have a queen bed here, full walk around bed. And on either side, you have a lot of great storage options. You'll see you have a pull-out drawer there on both sides of the bed. Nice big nightstand here too, and electrical outlets on both sides. So if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug that in on either side of the bed. You'll also notice on one side, you have dual USB ports. So if you need to plug in cell phones at night, you have a place to do that. Then right up above that, you have your mirrored wardrobe, good hanging space there. Again, because you have the taller ceilings, it gives you the taller wardrobe there. And take a look at this, nice big storage there going across the top. Of course, you have dual LED reading lights underneath in case you want to read at night. As I mentioned, we were outside, the bed does lift up so you can access the storage underneath, strut supported, so it is very easy to open as well as close. Uh, last couple things I want to talk about, one is right over here and that is the door. You'll see you actually have an actual slider door on here, which is great. Uh, gives you that little added privacy over a curtain. That way at night, you know, again, you can have your privacy up front. And then right here, you will see your uh, TV connection. So if you do want to mount a TV on the wall, you can go ahead and watch a show before bed. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Shasta Revere 29SK. This one is in the chocolate chip interior. 
If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.